Hey everyone, Ben Reno here, and here on my channel we do tech reviews, talk about news stories, and do let's plays. And today what we're here to do is talk about the new trailer that was just shown by Microsoft at their E3 press conference for Halo Infinite. And Halo Infinite is the open world game from Halo that's set to come out eventually, who knows. They keep pushing back their release date. Tentatively, it's supposed to come out in November 2021. It was originally supposed to come out around a year ago, but I'm much more confident that they will be able to hit this release date due to how finished the game looked in this trailer. Now, the last trailer did look pretty rough. The graphics were not very good, and it didn't have as much of a sense of direction, probably because it was open world. But in this most recent trailer, you see uh, Capture the Flag, Oddball, and other multiplayer game modes. And upon further inspection, of it looks like the campaign is going to be open world, but the multiplayer won't be. So this isn't going to be like Destiny in that way. Now, there is a lot of fan favorite multiplayer items here. For one, there is seemingly every type of vehicle from the previous games, including the Pelican, which I don't believe was ever available in multiplayer before, as well as the Needler, Battle Rifle, and other weapons. One thing I did really appreciate was that during the multiplayer match in the trailer, you can actually see someone picking up an item from a spawn point on the map. And this is interesting because it seemed for a while that Halo was moving in the way of preset loadouts like Call of Duty or Titanfall. And I believe that took away some of Halo's identity because the items spawn on the map are limited and they are free to be overpowered somewhat because there's a limited supply of them. Whereas in Call of Duty or Titanfall, there aren't really Really any strictly better guns uh, than others because they have to be balanced in that way. There's also definitely some new stuff here like early on in the trailer I saw something like a throwable shield or maybe a higher capacity bomb. It was interesting and also it looks like Halo is jumping on the bandwagon with the whole grapple line ability. This is a big thing in Titanfall, and I believe it's been in other games as well. I'm not sure how it's going to go over in Halo, because in Titanfall you also have an invisibility loadout, so that would seem kind of broken in Halo. But maybe it would be better because it wouldn't be as predictable, That because, you know, uh, somebody is generally going to be invisible where the invisibility power-up spawns, stuff like that. Um, it also looks like there might be a purple charge-up style shotgun weapon with tracking. That looks interesting. And there's also apparently a way to reflect certain types of blasts. I'm guessing that's a loadout dependent ability as well. What's also interesting is that it looks like you can use the grapple arm to pick up items dropped by enemies or even board vehicles, which makes me lean into thinking that this is actually going to be an ability for everyone and you won't need to use a specific loadout to get the grapple arm. I'm guessing it's going to be like melee or jumping in that sense. And also, I know the trailer is supposed to make you feel like a badass, but the whole destroying vehicles with one shot and boarding them super easily makes me feel like the game, you know, isn't going to be balanced and nobody's going to use the vehicles. So hopefully they're more balanced in-game. It also looks like some classic maps will be returning. Valhalla is featured in the trailer. Uh, it does look a little different layout wise, but the graphics are stunning. And there also appeared to be uh, what seems to be a map called District from Halo 2 in there. Also, I've just got to comment on overall how amazing the graphics look. They are absolutely amazing. And obviously the, you'll have to use a PC or an Xbox Series S to get the best out of it, but I'm sure it'll look good either way. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about this. I'm really looking forward to picking this one up on PC and seeing how it does. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.